Hi everyone, Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. I'm here to do an October Libra reading, any placement of Libra 2023. Um, this is going to be for all placements and you are cross watchers are also welcome. Please check out the description box for the disclaimer, meaning you have free will final say, your intuition knows best. These are general, not personal. You're not going to resonate with everything I say or maybe anything I say. But if you do happen to get anything out of this reading positive, please do show support, like, share, comment, subscribe. Appreciate it. Let's get started. I do channel as well. Um, I'm a psychic medium and I do get messages during these readings. Sometimes I'm turning in, tuning into your energy, the energy of a loved one, the energy in an environment. It could be past, present, future. The Wheel of Fortune. Green of Entrine. I trust whatever the universe brings me. Okay, great card to start out with. Now, green adventuring, that's a stone of the heart. It's a stone of, uh, you know, abundance. It's, um, it's green. It's your connection to the earth and what's around you, your connection to your environment. And this is also about, you know, being in the flow here, the wheel turning in your favor. I am getting uh, very much um, an energy where it's how you're perceiving what's around you making a difference something about perception being um everything at this point all right so we'll get more into that and the empress that's libra energy rhodonite okay this is about you know loving relationships here i create what i choose naturally and with joy so being in the flow but also i'm not just getting that simple be in the flow i'm getting something too about you're creating what that flow is you know there's definitely an energy of creation here uh one more card and we have strength oh my goodness libra so i just want to let you know that this is not a deck of just major arcana although you're pulling a lot of them wow look at this this is uh, but you have three major arcana out so for some of you october is a big month it is going to be a lot about um you know, there could be a new, a new take on something, a new perspective. There could be some sort of a karmic um, spin, you know, with this wheel of fortune where maybe you've put out some good karma and finally you're going to get something. I'm hearing three months too. So I don't know that it would definitely necessarily be October. It could be something you did three months ago or something that's three months out from now, but there's something about even this three month period coming in that may actually be um to your advantage here i think you're going to like this this is about you know the empress is all about creation and um again being in the flow and nurturing energy this is very feminine energy and motherhood type energy i see the sun here i've also got you know strength card here leo so we're getting leo twice in this deck strength is 11 not eight we've got herkimer diamond here very very powerful high frequency stone it's only found in one part of the world in new york and this is I can deal with whatever comes my way. So that's that courage, okay? Um, there's also, I'm noticing there's like a starfish thing in her hair. And, you know, starfish can actually lose an appendage and grow it back, I believe. So um, and then mushrooms, mushrooms can pretty much grow anywhere. So whatever it is you've gone through or are going through, Libra and cross watchers, um, it's, it's, it's leading to your development. It's helping you create the world that you really do want as you're entering into perhaps for some of you, a new sort of stage in your life, a new um, chapter, it's going to feel different than the others. So, and you know, with the, with the strength card too, it is about, um, you know, not having to be aggressive or ferocious, but, um, sort of a gentle sort of fierceness, a compassionate energy with yourself and others and realizing that that's going to get you what you want here. You've got the infinity symbol here with the Herkimer diamond. Some of you may be using gemstones to tune in. These three gemstones here, green of entering, rhodonite and Herkimer diamond could all uh, help you. This is a Herkimer diamond that could be either, you know, your root chakra, but it can also really align, help align all of your chakras. And with this Venus energy here, oh, and also a crown too, crown for the Herkimer because it's a nice clear stone. Connection to source. This is about connection to source too with this Empress card. Uh, you could be pregnant with ideas, with possibilities, with opportunities. There also is something possibly a crossed over female. It could even be a cat. Um, there's a closeness here. There's a sort of a very much like an understanding, having been through some difficult times together. And it could also be somebody living, uh, 
So, and then we have bonsais. Now bonsais, that's going to be, um, bonsais, let's see, they're, they're not difficult to care for, but in a way they are. And they also grow like in very, in very, um, rocky sides of hills and things like in Japan. And, and they're, they, this, I'm seeing a lot of, uh, survival here within this and having to adapt and, and, um, growing no matter what the circumstances. Okay. So, cause the Empress, that's the Empress is like the ultimate gardener, the ultimate nurturer, the ultimate creator. This is all the energy of all four Queens here. Wow. 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 There's so much coming through in this reading already. What else do we have? I'm getting something about remembrance too. There's some, something about, uh, like a, a poppy, like a red poppy, almost. I'm getting like a, like a flower. It's like a pin though, like felt it's, I'm not getting the actual flower. I'm getting sort of what would maybe be, um, something worn, like you'd wear it. You would wear this poppy to remember something. Okay. It means something somewhere. There's, um, I think it's about remembrance, but I don't know. I'm only getting, I only get, you know, partial messages sometimes when I'm channeling. There is something here though about remembrance. I'm also picking up on like a pearl or something that that's coming in as well. So I'm even seeing, I'm hearing the word lapel. So I don't know if you wear, like if, if there's like a poppy is worn kind of like this or something, but it would be red. It would have maybe a little pearl or there's something separate about pearl, even the name pearl or something about a white Audi, a car, a sedan, like a white sedan. And then I'm seeing the black with the poppy. It's like you, there's something there about remembering some really risk some sort of remembrance. So if it's your message, you'll know, of course, we never want to make things fit. We don't force, we go with the flow. I deal with whatever comes my way. I create what I choose naturally and with joy. And I trust what the universe brings me. This is about perception too. Okay. Perception. You've got that sun card brilliantly coming through your awareness, how your awareness connects you to the world. Take a moment to reflect. Take a moment to reflect. Okay. So again, it's about perception. Look at this. One eye is different. Like they're two different eye colors. We have blue and brown. Maybe that's, that's a message for some of you right there. Either you, someone you know, or did know has that uh, color combination for their eyes or just two different colored eyes. Oh, um, I'm getting something about like the Muppets or Fraggle Rock, or there's some sort of, um, character coming through right now it's happy it's like it's here to teach you something um something basic there's something with that pearl that was like a pearl of wisdom or nugget of wisdom you could actually really be learning a new skill or very um connecting to something like this intuitive power that you have that you didn't even know or that you know you could some of you um you're hearing your name being called out um possibly by like someone or some, an entity that's like, you can't actually see it. Um, so some of you, your clear audience is opening up for some of you. Um, there's something about color therapy too. Um, there's something too about making sure you're keeping your energy grounded when you're not, you could actually be affecting the current of electrical things as well. Lights flickering, bulbs blowing, different things could be affected technology. Um, that's coming in through as well. Okay. Ooh, wow. Next, what do you have? Magic in motion. Yeah, this is you. You're, you are magic in motion. We've got Saturn energy here. Again, this has to do with like something possibly karmic, but no longer being restricted here. All right. Look at the bendiness. There is no um, restriction there. Very flexible. And also, again, having sort of this like world in your hands mentality. Some of you maybe are um, working with crystals or you're actually able to see maybe your clairvoyance is coming through for you. Maybe some of you are seers and you're using crystals or scrying or something else or you're considering it. But I'm definitely, yeah, I'm getting a seer energy here too. too. So 
you could be learning to scry. Um, what else? Be alert and unpredictable. All right. So is that poppy? It reminds me of the poppy. There's something here about the poppy. Now here we have a nice uh, lunar moth here and we have butterflies in the Empress card. So different stages, not rushing your development here. Okay. Um, a, a rabbits having to do with, uh, you know, they run in this zigzag fashion. So that's why, that's why it says being unpredictable. They go by the lunar phase. I'm getting something here about entering this new phase. Okay. And it's a sunnier phase. I am getting sunshine here coming through. I'm hearing Claudia as well, or Claudette. There's something very refreshing, revitalizing coming through in these cards. Um, you, you shaping your world just with your perception, how you see and feel things. Okay. Um, very much magician energy. You could be tapping into a new talent. Um, let's see what else we have. Rabbits, 28 days, lunar cycle. Um, hmm. being physically grounded to help you spiritually. There's something about purity here, purity of thought, intention, peace. I'm getting an uh, energy of peace, peace and calm, peace and calm. What else do we have? Maybe some of you are feeling out of your element. We have the chariot here. So this is actually, um, this is you, well, it's Cancerian energy. I'm getting a lot of things with this. I'm getting something, first of all, traditionally, the chariot is, yes, card seven. So this can have to do with spiritual tests and lessons. Generally, sevens, that's what that means, at least for me, um, with regard to tarot. and. There's got, there has to be some sort of, um, there's got to be a stage here or um, a, a way or something that, that you can express your talents and where you can truly be yourself. So is there something about that? There's something here too about, traditionally, there's something about, um, you know, focus, determination, um, seeing things clearly, victory, success. All right. That's the traditional thing here. But I'm also getting... Really, I'm seeing star energy could be Aquarius, but that's about, you know, that independent going forward, no matter what, too. Um, there's also something here, too, about um, maybe you've had to keep something hidden or there's something about something being hidden or locked away. There could even be private papers or something I'm seeing um, or a safety deposit box or there's something that's kind of um, been not been disclosed. I'm seeing that. I'm just seeing that. So I don't know if that's meaning, you know, only you can interpret this if it's your message. If it's something about security, um, you're focused on your security, maybe. Maybe all you've ever wanted is a happy home. Is That's what I'm being told right now. Just want a happy home. Hmm. Well, I, I hope you do get that. Hmm. What else here? There's something running deep through your entire being. It's kind of always been there. I'm seeing that wanting to emerge and come to light at this time. Only you know what that is. What else do we have? There's something about like a secure, there's definitely something about security here. All right. Being alert and unpredictable. Now let's see what else this could mean. Magic in motion. Take time to reflect. So really thinking about what it is you want. Manifesting it. Taking the steps to manifest that. Seeing all the opportunities around you. going after them in the way that makes the most sense for you. Mm -hmm. Least resistance possible, right? Okay. And then yes, the wheels in motion. Wow. There's a lot here, Libra. 
goodness. Oh, and then the four of swords. So again, you have take a moment to reflect and you have the four of swords. Now that's air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe again, there's that contemplation here. Thinking it through. Resting. Re, um, I'm getting something about not needing to do, not, you don't have to redo everything, but there could be an important part in what it is you're trying to achieve or wish to achieve, achieve your wish upon a star, so to speak, or in your healing journey, there could be something that maybe you haven't accessed yet or let out. Maybe you're wanting to do that or you will, because again, I'm getting something about something being kind of hidden. Maybe you have some an ability that you, that's sort of hidden that you just can't deny anymore. Oh, I keep bumping my lights. Sorry about that. And the Empress again, Libra, you have double Empress here. Now, notice the chariot and the Empress are looking in the same direction, surrounding this four of, en of um, swords energy. So here we have sort of like the wish upon a star. Let's think of this over. How am I going to get to that? You're, re, you're sort of uh, recalibrating, so to speak, and how to get that and how to create that. The, again, all the energies of the queens. We've got Venusian energy here. So this could also be Taurus energy um, or that time period could have meant something to you, April to May. <clears throat> uh, I'm getting something about being able to survive with little. So again, that adaptability here. Yeah, this is about, uh, oh, I'm hearing something about building your fortress. So you're getting that home you want, that rule, rule that uh, world you want, being in the flow, ultimate creation here, again, nurturing, um, bringing things into reality. There's a big connection here to spirit as well. Um, I see these as like antennae connecting to source. Wow. And it's connected again, it's connected to that star energy. I'm visualized, I'm seeing a star. I can feel it. It's right there. Look here. Here's one right now. Let's put it right there. That's a little uh, lapidolite stone. Maybe lapidolite means something. But I'm getting Lena as well, Lena. Earlier I had I had Sarah, I had Rogers, and I had Lee. All right. So those are all, and I also had Desmond. Those are all coming in right now. In Quattro. Hmm. Like remembering who you truly are. I'm also seeing, I so these cards are just so, so communicative. I absolutely love this deck. The fairy tale tarot by Lamucci design. I don't have a relationship with them at all, except that I love these cards, but this is it's not being dissuaded from your goal at all. In fact, it's something that is so deeply embedded within you as a person, as a soul, as an energy. There's just no separating it from you, you from it. It's also like that in our environment, right? We can't really separate um, droplets of the ocean from the ocean when we're in the ocean, so to speak. I don't, um, it's, it's hard to explain, but I know what I'm saying when I say it. Some of you maybe do, but um, we're all energy. We're all connected. You know, you hear that a bunch when you're viewing tarot readings and things. Um, but this is very, very nurturing, caring. It's caring for yourself, taking that time you need, having a good sleep, getting rejuvenated. What else do we have? What else? What else? What else? Let's get some more. This is amazing. You have all these. You have six cards out, right, of tarot. And five of them are major arcana. This four of swords isn't. And then let's see. What do you have? Just randomly pick. Right here. Something about scrambling. Scram getting something about scrambling. Oh, five of cups. Okay. So yeah, some kind of change here, possibly. Mourning something. This can be some sort of grief or loss. Um, I feel as though in order to possibly create this uh dream this reality come bringing it into a reality maybe it's your happy home happy job happy life just 
sense of well-being, vitality, happiness, youthfulness, whatever it may be, I feel as though um, there's still, there's great opportunity here, but you, you, some of you could be dwelling on the past, possibly. That's only for some of you. So please just know that I'm not talking to everybody right now. Um, making sure that we're, we're focusing on what will get us where we want to go, what will make this star a reality. What are you going to put in your cup? What's going to fill you up? Because that, whatever that is, that's done. Right? It can still, it might still have an impact, but as these two are looking up, the chariot and the empress, and this five of cups is looking down. I mean, it almost goes without saying what's going to get you further, looking down and back or looking up and forward, right? Um, but I do see some things being interconnected, obviously, because even, you know, good and bad, it's all part of us, right? It's part of our journey. Um, it leaves its impact, but it doesn't have to affect whatever these dreams, goals, wishes are. Because this person's so close to accessing this like new world. Hmm. I feel as though they're almost there too. Just about there. Just a pivot, like a, a slight pivot. And it's, you know, needing that time, the four to the five here. Could be some sort of residual um, energy that's just needing to be processed and dealt with, worked through. What else do we have? I'm also getting something about in order, you know, as you're moving forward and you're creating your own life universe, that sort of thing, that it's not going to please everybody. And some people you can't bring with you for whatever reason. That could be, again, only for some of you, and you decide, okay? Obviously. I don't like to cover the kitty's eye. I just really don't. <laughs> I like to. But then again, the kitty can see without it because they have that third eye knowing, right? It's all about perspective, huh? Perspective is everything this month. The hanged man. And here we are. This is one of the cards of gaining perspective and it makes total sense it's right here in this row as we're talking about this mid section here with these lovely bookends we're talking about um oh and also you know what this could be seen as a journey within a journey within is is happening you could be coming out of that entering into that deciding that's what you need or want and we have the hanged man here so this is again this is about flexibility and being flexible in your thinking maybe but not backing down like being flexible does not mean you're no longer determined but it does mean that maybe you're shifting perspective right um going with the flow not getting stuck on any one thing with this hanged man okay and this is again to not getting stuck here with this five of cups that's kind of the reminder and the hanged man, you know, that's usually you, you're they're in this position to gain enlightenment. That higher perspective. It's all over this reading. All over this reading. What else? What else do we have for October 2023 Libra? Spirits, guides, angels, Reiki. What do we have? Messages that we most need to know for the greatest, highest good of the viewers please thank you please do hit that thumbs up button please illuminate that little thumb for me if you're enjoying this i know some people forget a lot of people forget um they'll maybe leave even a comment but they'll forget to hit that thumbs up and i just it really does help the channel appreciate it and you have the six of swords so transitioning moving on so after you've gained this new perspective this higher perspective which i don't think is new to you libra i think you're already aware of this this gives you the wings to then fly and to not feel bad about it or something, to become more to terms with it, um, if that makes sense. Uh, so transition. So that's a card of transition. And this could be travel because you have chariot, you have six of swords. 
could be some travel here. You've got the Wheel of Fortune. So you could, it, it could be, but it could also be, uh, this is a trans, transition sort of time period, you know, in your life. But aren't we always transitioning? I mean, people are probably sick of hearing that, but I see progress here. I see this new chapter. I see that there is some sort of moving on and knowing you have that support. Again, it's a card of support here. What else? Queen of Wands. Wonderful. This, this queen goes right here. That's where she belongs. Now, the Queen of Wands is looking to that sun, that optimistic kind of, kind of uh, energy here and vitality. Queen of Wands has that fiery way and energy about them. By the way, the Five of Cups is uh, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You've got um, the Six of Swords air energy again so that's you and gemini aquarius and then we have queen of wands leo aries sag so you have leo showing up a couple of times here as well maybe that means something i'm getting the name morgan too i also heard something about um mma mixed martial arts um that's coming in as well so This is, there's that song too. I'm a little teapot short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. So that my little teacup or you, or there's something about a teapot that's, it's uh, sentimental or something about a teapot. But I am picking up on that. There could also be uh, like a, a little teacup or saucer. Something has like a little chip possibly. There's something there. there. So that's, you know, sometimes I will get information that just doesn't, it seems random, but it's somebody's. Okay. So. Queen of Wands, again, you know, this is an energy that cannot be stopped. I love seeing it here with the Chariot card because the Queen of Wands, they're focused on what it is they want. They have that perspective, that keen insight and wisdom. And as I was saying, I didn't want to cover the, the cat's energy here, the cat's eye here, but they have perspective. Well, it's like here, the cats don't even show eye. There's not even an eye on this cat because they've got that, that deep sense of knowing that intuition. And perhaps you have this deep sense of knowing that there's just, it's, it, something has to change, right? Or that it's on the way that something is going, you can just feel it coming. I feel like this transformative kind of energy. This is a very driven energy though. Okay. Very uh, passionate. And then you also have death transformation here. So while you have the empress, you know, the creator, the grand creator here, you also have death. This is transformation though. Again, you have a lot of major arcana cards here. Again, you do, you have so many of them. Now, I feel as though part of this death card is this be alert and unpredictable. And I love that it features a rabbit and a moth because it's making me realize and it's making me tune into the fact that everything is in stages, right? And yes, sometimes we do have to have a tower or death in order to um, have that new start, the new beginning, the new found freedom, the new perspective that's going to really lead us to where we really want and need to be and to gain that new intelligence, so to speak. So being alert, making sure you're still seeing the sun right? The sun's there, even though we don't always see it. Cloudy days, it's there. Darkness, it's still there. We just don't necessarily see it. So again, perspective is critical. This is Scorpio energy as well. I feel with this bunny here and death, you know, bunnies, their creation, I mean, they are, they are ultimate creators too, right? They are all about, um, and sometimes you'll see the empress has a bunny in the card and they're, they just, they are known to be they are connected to the moon. So that's again, phases, things have phases, death, you know, uh, I was going to say unicorns, <laughs> but, uh, but butterflies, um, you know, snakes shedding their skin, uh, moths, like they all go through their phases. We as people go through our phases. So this could be something again about you entering this new phase, this new, uh, it's a very transformative energy. There could be a little bit, again, of something, something about secrecy, security, something maybe being revealed that, you know, maybe wasn't before or something. So, because I do feel that part of that alert with the sun, with the uh, strength card here too. And it actually, now that this is an 11, which is normally justice, I hope you're following all this. Um, this could be again, like correcting a wrong, so to speak. All right. Things balancing out. Uh, 
judicially, you know, and more of a, a sense of justice is coming around for Libra season, just in time for Libra season, since uh, we are the justice and the Empress guards. Um, and generally there's a white rose here too with the death card. And here we have this white rabbit. So I do feel as though this, this purity in this death card out sprouts this purity, new chance, new path. You've got the support here. What else do we have? Something could just, it's on its way out. And um, there could also, there's something here too about healing, um, the past healing uh, distance. There's something about distance. I'm getting something right now too about an aviator, aviator. Okay, and the nine of swords, right? The stress, but it's, but there's comfort here too. There's still comfort. This very remi much reminds me of that four of swords. So when you're in that four of swords energy, yeah, you might have some nine of swords moments. Absolutely. But um, this person's sort of like contemplating this. And you notice that only some of the swords are sort of bound up, right? And some of them are free. I feel as though this person's sort of freeing themselves of the stress that's around them and realizing they're not, they're not beholden by it, okay? It's freeing themselves from that. All right. And then because you do have, you do get to choose your perspective. We can't change and choose everything that happens around us, to us, that sort of thing. But we can certainly um, choose our perspective and how we respond and what we choose to feel and think about it. Um, although that's up for debate if we choose our feelings or not. Depends on, I guess, the context. <laughs> Ten of Wands, you know, again, putting down that burden. You go from the Nine of Swords to the Ten of Wands. So this is about that uh, sort of that completion here. I feel um, also by like winter time, because I'm picking up on snowmen in this card. And there's something about, um, I'm getting like cocoa with marshmallows or something. There is something here about uh, by, again, I was getting three months earlier for you. So it could be that. This is something that's October, November, December, you know, like three months, but it could, something could take three months, you know, um, to either move, maybe move, leave something or um, learn something, but I am getting that coming in. So you could just be seeing threes as well. Maybe I'm picking up on that three, 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 but that's a sign of blessings. You know, that is a sign of blessings. So an end to this stress, this person here, they don't look stressed. It's like they were in it and then they sat up and they're like, wait a minute. And they have this new perspective and they're contemplating something, but they're not getting carried away. And then it's like, they have this plan of action. This person's actually upright, just like this one, when typically they're, they're not. This person sometimes is hunched over in the nine of swords, but it's same in the 10 of ones though. But these, this is great. And then you have the four of cups. And what's different and awesome about this four of cups is, yeah, there are the three in front of them. And rather than rejecting this fourth cup, they're actually accepting it. Because you know what? Because guess what? Look, look where this four of cups is looking. Where are they looking? They're also looking at this star, their wish fulfillment, their healing. They're realizing that they themselves already hold the ability to heal, the ability to attain their wishes, that star card energy, that magic. They have the magic. The magic has been set into motion here. So it's, you know, I'm looking at this, at the chariot card, the empress card, and the four of cups, and even this nine of swords looking at the star. So it's all, again, it's about perspective. We could look at these cards and say, eh, four cups, eh, not the greatest card, nine of swords, not the greatest. But when you, when you look at where they are in relation to this reading, which by the way, no energy exists in isolation, right? We're all, it's all connected. Just like with these cards, I love these cards because they're super intuitive, communicative, and they always tell me something different because there's ne it's never the same spread of cards and they, they all um, interact with each other on the table. I mean, it's, I love this deck. Again, I don't have any relationship with them. I just really love it. And I always see new things that I'm learning about these cards, even like even about tarot, I'm learning from this deck. So this is certainly, um, oh, super intuitive too. I almost feel like these are the youth, right? This looks like youth here. And then here you've got 
more of a connection to source and to spirit here with those what's wearing what's on their head here in the chariot card and the empress whereas you don't see that in the four of cups and the nine of swords but you're seeing progress so this could be you seeing yourself making progress towards something and then we have the lovers and there we are with alignment okay and again we have this sort of younger energy but this could be sort of a restoration of of uh what what makes you um feel inspired what um what's bringing you into alignment with what what it is you want to create your wishes coming true that sort of thing the um the world you want to create for yourself and, and be part of and again you have that divine assistance here you have the angel wings this is gemini energy could involve a gemini or go back to gemini season you have the apples here this is about wisdom and knowing too and these people um they're letting themselves be led in this card um in this deck even they're letting themselves be led by um what like a higher power almost okay so maybe you're in that energy um and then we have the ace of wands and there is that rod of inspiration here okay and again it's hooked right to this moon so it is intuition it's it's sort of um and it's also we have saturn here too we also have a uh, you know like a peacock feather so you know being proud uh, sh letting yourself shine in the moment um this is about uh again that magic it's fire energy larry leo sorry leo aries set um and again with the phases all right knowing things are a phase i'm getting phoenix rising from the ashes here this is your new inspiration this is actually taking action towards what it is you want and i love that it goes from the 10 right back to the ace of wands so the 10 of wands to the ace of wands it's both a one and a one so there you have it you know endings better beginnings love this um and again with that saturn energy that makes me think of no longer being restricted and look how these vines they're not twined and like all wrapped up they're they're loose some of you have teal nail or toe polish teal maybe you're painting something teal or something like that oh my goodness libra i looked at the bottom of the deck look at this and there's that star which is what this reading has been all about so there it is that's how you end up then with the star, right? It brings us right back to the beginning, to the star. Aquarius energy, wish fulfillment. Remember everything in moderation. This has to do with balance, to do with healing. Really focusing on what it is you want and bringing that into existence. And you have all the support here to do that. Beautiful. Let's move on and see what else we have, okay, for some final messages for you to clarify everyone is emitting a vibrational signal shift your vibration rather than words you are offering then you have true control of what you're attracting so it's not just the words it's and look at this can i just point this out what do you have in the middle of all this what almost looks like sort of mucky colors i see it as rhodonite by the way which you actually had rhodonite nice grounding love you know real what do you have you have a star in the middle of all this it can go either way, but you choosing to see that star, there it is. Followed by the star car right under the star. Unbelievable. It's incredible. I can't, I still can't. Wow. I mean, thank you, spirit. Thank you, guides. Appreciate you so much. <laughs> wow. So this is about, you know, getting into a receptive state here. Okay. And just, just know you're never alone. We're all connected through, through um, the energy. Okay. There's always, there is. There's assistance for you. And, um, you know, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Where you are is perfect. Place, where you are is a perfect place to begin again. Relax, reset, try again. You had that four of swords. I said it's a recalibration, reset. And abundance is on its way as much as you'll allow. Be open to receiving. I just said receiving. And here we have it. So you have some great things coming in in October. I'm hearing Leonardo too, or Leandro. What do we have? I am getting something, a connection to New York. Could even be like upstate New York or central or something. There's just, there is a, a New York coming in, even Eastern, but it's not, it's not just New York City. It's like 
the state of New York. You have the law of Dharma. And here we have another lion. You started out with lion with the strength card. Transform your pain into your purpose. This could be what some of you are doing right now. This could be why it's such a big uh, energy coming in with all these major arcanas too. What else do you have for your opportunities and your abundance here for October? You have construct, so tower or tower of power. Corporate high rank build, ranking pinnacle on top. Yeah, it's again, it's about having that different perspective, right? You can see this as a crumbling tower. You can see this as this beautiful, powerful structure with full of opportunity. And then you have divine couple. Oh, the well, lovers, you had that too. So prosper with your partner, any kind of partner, family business, love at work, sharing wealth, working together. Could be a theme that comes up for you, Libra. And then you have resolve. Oh, some of you have a really loyal uh, canine um, companion. This is about being dedicated to achievement, steady games. It's about the long game, loyalty, effort, and being on top. For your empath empowerment card, find your purpose. Yes, we just had something about finding your purpose. We just had that card. Did we not? Maybe we didn't. But anyway, find your purpose. Yeah, when you feel like, you notice they're holding a wand, that ace of wands. What did we get here? We got the ace of wands. Your inspiration here, moving forward, taking action. They're steady. They're solid. What is this, mountain pose or something? When you Or is it warrior? Anyway, um, when you feel like you don't fit into this world, remember that you're here to help create a better one. Your tender heart is a treasure. Very much getting full card energy here, that journey. You know, taking that optimism that in, you know, going forward, treating it as a new adventure, new chapter, new stage, new something. Card 27 here for a love message, spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. This could even, again, this could be with an animal. This could be with, you know, a teacher or a friend or certainly, yes, a love interest romantically. Card 36, turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love and show that same love to yourself, Libra. What else do we have? A few more final messages. Libra, you have goddess affirming the sacred feminine in yourself. I mean, really, you have two empresses here and then the goddess. So need I say more, Libra? Let's get you an animal animal oracle or two. This one. Frog awakening. Card 35. Throat chakra. Remember who you are. What parts of you are judging? Or what parts of you are you judging or hiding from the world? Let your true magic come back to life. And I picked up on that with this chariot card here, too. Something being kind of you know, private, locked up, hidden, maybe not quite revealed, maybe unleashing that, maybe opening that up, right? Maybe it begins with expressing, you know, with your throat chakra. Aquamarine could be helpful for you. Something to do with the month of March too, possibly. What else do we have? Frogs are also, that's good for as far as prosperity, taking that leap of faith. Um, bald eagle. Ooh, nine. Bald eagle observer. Okay, this is the root chakra, Libra. Notice that crown, that Taylor White. This is all about alignment. This is about um, seeing your situation from a higher point of view. Let spirit guide your next steps. Trust the wisdom of your higher self. I love it when the cards just sort of neatly tie themselves up in a bow here with this reading. For example, this is soaring to new heights. This is soaring above anything that's not going to suit you. And this is also about, um, yeah, that keen observation and perspective. So again, perspective is everything this month. Take that as it resonates. Let's get you um, angel number. Maybe a few. Maybe you're already seeing this number or you will. 88, sign of enlightenment. You have achieved wisdom and find success. Look at this. Here we are, wisdom, wisdom. I mean, this is wonderful. What else? You have six, seven, eight, nine. I love it when we have the numbers in consecutive order like that. 
It is moving forward. This is a sign of unconditional love. No matter the flaws, you give and receive love. So no matter what, you're still worthy of love. 2332, sign to pursue your passion. Again, life purpose. Time to pursue what you want most in life. That's what this reading is all about. You finding what makes you feel comfortable, what makes you feel most alive. What is that? And go for it. You know, no better time than now, right? All right, Libra and cross watchers, please thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Please do illuminate that thumbs up button. It really does help my channel. Thank you so much. Happy birthday.